but he's going to freak out when he sees what it is. All right, Ryan, what do you think? So we have to try to keep this a secret. Cody was the wicked witch of the east. <laughs> Hopefully he won't notice. Okay. Well, be, be careful, nice. Mike. Oh, oh yeah, don't turn it on. It's kind of hard to miss. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to turn. All Good right. Day. Good morning, everybody. We have a very big surprise today. Here's Pap. He's part of the hey. surprise. Hi, Pap. Yeah. We're in Florida, and we have an early Christmas present that, for the family, but the whole family couldn't be here. So Ryan's going to open it. He has no idea. Mike has him sequestered inside. Hopefully, he's going to stay inside until we can get this present, this present, out so he can open it. This is something that he is... He's going to pretty much freak out, I think, because he has no idea that, that we got it. And I should say that this video is sponsored by Tur Turbo Ant, which um, provided us with this amazing gift. And I'm not going to let... Well, you might know by the title, but I'm not going to tell you what it is in case you missed the title. <laughs> so when you see Ryan open it, he'll be pretty jazzed. That's what you're What are you doing? You go, he's got cookie dough Come on. Right Whatever I can... Eat, you know what I'm saying? I'll hand you something. Thank you. <laughs> Yo. We have an early Christmas present we thought we might share with you before you go golfing. It's not even Thanksgiving yet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. So we got, we might have gotten um, a gift from a company, and we thought that it was something that you might really like. Aww. It's a gift for the whole family, but everybody couldn't be here, so okay. you get to open it. Okay, okay, okay. Hey. Were you in on this? No. Okay. <laughs> I like it. Oh. Wow. Do you have any idea what it is? Any guesses? I mean, oh, wait. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yo. Dude, because Charlie has like two of these, I love it. Oh my god, so it's an electric bike. It that is. is so it's dope. a fat tire electric bike. That's. So, oh, it's a fat tire. So we, like, oh my god. Yeah, gosh, so like, it goes over like, all the different terrains. Mm -hmm. That's so tough. So while you're golfing with Pat Pat, Dad's gonna put it together. It comes 90% put together already, so he just has to do a couple of things. That's amazing. And then we're gonna go ride bikes before your uh, before your football game starts. Sound good? That's so fun. Thank you so much. Holy cow. That's amazing. All right. Well, I can't wait. Let's give him a round of hug, guys. Aww. Yay. That's amazing. Excellent. That's so good. Are you going to be able to concentrate on golf? I don't know. <laughs> All right, Pat, keep him centered, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys have a tea time in just a few minutes. We'll take care of it while you're gone. The Turbo Ant Fat Tire All Terrain Electric Bike Nebula. N1 is the best all-terrain e-bike with sturdy 26 by 4 inch all-terrain fat tires can take you from forests, sandy beaches to gravel paths, city road, and dense snow. Amazing RST hydraulic front suspension with 80 millimeter travel for smooth and comfortable rides. The easy to read LCD display shows important information such as speed level, mileage, and battery status. The delivery is excellent. It comes 90% pre-assembled for quick assembly within minutes. It's fast and free shipping all across the United States. This is the N1 with a higher cost internal battery, while the T1 version has an external battery that also supports phone charging and is more cost efficient. There are three riding modes for various riding preferences, <laughs> pedaling only, pedaling with power assistance, and throttle only. All of this is offered at a very reasonable price, and there's a discount offered now with our coupon code. Check it out in our description box. Okay, that is awesome. Isn't that that fun? is so much fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is kind of ridiculous, actually. <laughs> like, I might be a little addicted to this, but I never thought this was something that I thought that would be my thing. I love it. I cannot wait to go far. Take it. All right, should we show Ryan? Yes, he's okay. going to love it, too. I know he is. All right, Ryan, what do you think? <laughs> That's huge. It's like a motorcycle. Look at it. It is. That is, that is a beast.
of a machine. It is. Dad put it together while you were golfing. I can't wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I will tell you this. I just took a spin on it. It's ridiculously cool. Really? Oh my gosh. Dad went on a ride with it. He was laughing so hard when he came back. He's like, I can't even believe how cool this thing is. All right, you want to give Ryan the lowdown? It's a, it's a, it's a machine, so you have to be careful. So right. you have to get used to it. So it, ju it rides just like a bike, mm -hmm. but then when you need a little help, you just get a little help. So All right. <laughs> these are just like the brakes, right? Okay. This is the um, the, the gears. Gear. And when you want to go down, you just push. Okay. So it's in the lightest gear now. Right. If you want to go up, push, 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 push. Gotcha. And you go up, and so back and forth. Gotcha. So the real the real thing is this. Mm -hmm. This is the accelerator, and that'll take you and help you so you can walk. Right. So get used to the bike just pedaling it, and then when you're ready, put your hand here and just do this, and Slow. it'll propel you. Alrighty. But just go light, and then... Right. Just to know to stop, you right. can't go backwards, like don't pedal backwards, instead you'd use these. Right. So feel okay. how heavy it is. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a machine for right. sure. Right. 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 Okay. <laughs> this thing is huge. Okay, okay. So dad charged it up for you. It has a super long range. It can go up to 60 miles on one single charge. Oh, I know, that's crazy. So, I mean, on a few charges, I could go visit Brennan and tell him. Totally, you yeah. just might be able to I do that. It. That's awesome, yes. And it can go up to 20 miles an hour on throttle only. So be careful with that. take this thing i would get like lunch breakfast get, get <laughs> starbucks i'm about to ride the golf course with it this, is, this whole neighborhood is just mine with this thing. this is like when someone gets their license for the first time and you're exactly. like hey ryan no, we go to the you. grocery store yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. you would be like hey ryan i know you're out i know you're out on the bike <laughs> Starbucks like, Brian, can you take your sister to practice? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, all right, hop on. Let's go. Yeah, they say, you know, I'm going to get a sidecar for this. <laughs> that is awesome. I would love that. That would be so cool. Okay, you want to go to Nana Pass? Show it to him. Sure. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> Here he comes. Right in. <laughs> you see me? You see me? <laughs> we, we ate dinner, had dessert. Of course you did. Oh, hello. Hello. I think I'm doing a video. I don't know. Is that right? I worked my butt off to get here, Pat. Oh, yeah? You should have seen him. God, we came out and he was zooming down. <laughs> Man, I could not stop laughing. I was like, <laughs> like I, I was, I was gonna go and then turn around, and I, so I didn't even look for him. I didn't even, know, I didn't know they were gonna be out here, so I just went. <laughs> and I get back around, man. It was fun, and she was laughing. Yeah. Man, what did you think when you saw Ryan ride right by? I thought he was the wicked witch of the east, just flying by. I had no idea. Then and Pat went out and stood in the right, stood in the driveway, yep. and you went boom no. right there. Yeah. <laughs> right by and I didn't know if he could stop it or if he could turn I expected to see him flying up through the air. He's got control of it that thing, it's it's pretty easy to control yeah, yeah. isn't it because once you you know ride a bike for a long time you know, I you mean know. you don't even need to ride a bike for that long you just get to hang around just know how to do it all right, so we just stopped in on Nan and Pap. Look at my new toy, and then Nicole just didn't stop. Holy cow. Well, we're talking about new toys. Look what Pap just got. Take it out there and do that, that, yellow, that yellow thing out there. Okay. Be careful, Mike. Oh, yeah, don't turn it on. But that's a guard, right? This is a guard. Okay. That is cool. Look at you. My goodness. I just got off the phone with Katie. She's at home and we're here in Florida, as you know, Mike and Ryan and I. And Kate just hasn't been herself the past few days and we had a heart to heart. 
And I'm sharing with you, this with you because I feel like maybe this would help some other people out there who might be going through the same thing. Um, and whether or not you're going through the same thing that Kate's going through, there's certainly stresses in your life that you get to the point where you think, oh my goodness, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to turn. So Katie is, as you know, um, she's a type A personality who it's hard for her to say no to opportunity. Um, she's doing um, cheerleading and she's the captain of cheerleading. She's also still doing pole vault, club pole vault. She's taking a very rigorous class schedule. She is applying for colleges, not only just colleges, but also, I don't want to say just colleges, that's enough, but also um, service academies, which there's a whole slew of additional things that go with that, including interviews and applications for nominations and all that stuff and physical fitness tests and everything. And she, as you know, has, um, has some heel issues. So she's physically, um, I don't know, compromised, I guess a bit. And she's emotionally just drained, absolutely drained. She feels like she can't keep up with everything. And everybody keeps saying, so where are you going to college? What do you want to do? And she's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And I think she's stressing out about that because she's always so put together and wants to, um, wants to always, um, excel and achieve and she is excelling and she is achieving but even if she wasn't that's not a big deal so I had a I had a conversation with her and I'll share this with you and it was a long conversation but I'll just give you the gist of it first of all um, I think it's really important to take some time often and just reflect and meditate and be introspective on yourself and sort of gauge where you are what you're doing, if you're able to give your best at what you're doing, or if you're doing too much, or if you have extra time and you can do do more maybe for others or do more for yourself. Um, she's at the point now where she's just doing too much and she has absolutely no time to do it all really well. So she feels like she's doing 15,000 things mediocre and that's no way to be. And she's not really enjoying her senior year. She's not, um, able to spend a lot of time with her friends and, and, you know, do the fun things that, um, that life affords. So anyway, um, so she is, um, so the other thing I told her too, is this, I said, listen, when people ask you where you're going to college or what you're, you know, what you want to do, and if you don't know, just say, I don't know. I don't know yet. And don't be ashamed of that. That's nothing to be ashamed of. I learned a long, long, long time ago um, that to ask someone who's a senior in high school or a junior in high school, so where are you going to college? Is a question that, in my opinion, is um, assumptive and puts people on the spot. There are some people that know, hey, I'm going to go to XYZ College and that's what I'm doing. That's great. Good for you. But there are plenty of other people a majority of other people, I would suggest, that after high school, maybe not, college isn't for them. Maybe they have another path. Maybe they're going to go into the workforce. Maybe they're going to take a gap year. Maybe they're going to go to a local college, a community college. Maybe they're going to go to a trade school. Maybe they're going to work with their family business. Maybe they're going to start a business. Maybe they just need to sit down and figure it out and do nothing. I'm not sure. So while I'm um, a proponent of being productive. Being productive doesn't always mean you have to be doing something that is going to produce something physical, uh, like a degree or that kind of thing. Sometimes being productive means figuring out where you want to go and what it is you want to do. So she's thought for such a long time, she knows what she wants to do, but it's becoming a little bit mixed up right now. It's a little mixed up. So um, I told her, Kate, listen, so anyway, getting back to the point, I never ask people, where are you going to college? I never say that, ever. I, I say, hey, so what's next for you? What's next? And next for them might be, I'm going to take some time off. Next for them might be, I'm going to college. Next for them might be, I'm, I'm just going to continue working at the job I have. That is awesome. There is no judgment here whatsoever. Everybody is taking their own path and doing their own thing. Brennan went to college after high school. Maybe, maybe Katie won't. Who knows? I'm totally fine with that. Whatever is going to help her decide and, and bring clarity to how she can best use her time and talents, her God-given time and talents, um, then that's what she needs to do. And that's what I believe all of you need to do too. So just for what it's worth, um, 
take time to really look inside and, and decide what it is that it would be best for you. How I, friends of mine laugh at me because I always say, especially in times of like um, emergency, how can I best be utilized? How can I best be utilized? That's my line. <laughs> how can I best be utilized? And I think asking yourself that question is very important. How can I how can I best be used to do whatever it is to fulfill your mission, whether that's to, to um, serve God, whether that it is to uh, fulfill your family's um, responsibilities, whether that is to um, to bring yourself back to happiness and a stable, stable point to move forward, or whether that is, hey, listen, I got straight A's in high school and, and my, my talents are best to be used to go out and, and become a doctor or a lawyer or um, a psychologist, whatever it is, whatever it is. So anyway, that's my little um, speech for today because I'm, I know that there's probably a lot of other people dealing with that. And when you watch our, our videos, you know, it's real life. We don't sugarcoat it. <laughs> it is what it is. And um, I hope in, in some small way I've been able to help. So I'm gonna go make dinner now and um, pack up because we're leaving tomorrow to go back home. And we'll be back here for Thanksgiving though, so stay tuned. It's been quite a fun day, quite a day. Tonight for dinner is Asiago chicken. This is a new recipe that we're trying that I think we're going to love. First, we're gonna salt and pepper both sides of our chicken cutlets. And then put them in flour on both sides. And then we've got four of them. We're gonna put them each into the pan with olive oil and butter. Take the chicken out and then add some garlic, some fresh thyme and mushrooms. Cook that in the oil and the butter. Just saute it for a few, few minutes. And add a little pepper. Always add salt and pepper to everything. A little bit of salt. Ooh, I wish you could smell this. It smells excellent. Okay, now it's time for the milk. Just a half a cup of milk. And one 15 ounce can of chicken broth. Oh, and now we put in the pasta. We're using a fresh linguine. Oh my goodness, look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and stir that up. Cook it for, I don't know. Five minutes maybe just until the pasta is a little soft okay I've got the oven vent on but now it's time for the Parmesan cheese oh, beautiful. and a whole bag of spinach watch this I'm gonna have to mix this in probably half and half so it will wilt and not spill out of the pan and finally, slice up the chicken and put it right on top and then serve the pasta. Again, this is Chicken Asiago. We're ready to eat. Ryan's watching the NFL. Yeah. You ready, Ryan guy? Yeah. All right, I came upstairs to find out what made Ryan happy. He's sitting up here eating the rest of the banana bread that I made today. Mm -hmm. Wow. It is really good. Just you and the whole loaf, huh? Yep. Excellent. What made you... Oh, sorry. Oh. What made you happy today? The Chargers winning. Oh, yeah? And getting a, a present. <laughs> An early Christmas that present. That is so cool. That is really, oh. really cool. Mm -hmm. You're going to be home. today with Pat. Yeah. It's fun. You're gonna be home going, oh, I wanna go back and ride that bike yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Totally fun, totally <laughs> fun. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm happy to report that Katie's feeling much better. I spoke with her again tonight. And um, one thing I wanted to just sort of add on to what I was saying before is, you know, whether it's a, a college decision or a high school decision or whatever decision it is that you're trying to make that might cause stress, or not even decisions, just stress in your life. Just know that um, oftentimes that stress and that uh, angst will give way to clarity. And I feel like that's what's happening with Kate. And I told her, listen, you have to go through this. Like the lows of the lows bring bring the highs of the highs, I, I believe. So they're all natural emotions. And if it causes you to cry or if it causes you to, to have consternation, 
that's natural and that again will lead to clarity and I wish that for her and I wish that for all of you who are going through some um, difficult times or stressful times um, that will happen we do the same we go through it all the time I do <laughs> so anyway you guys I hope that you enjoyed today's vlog comment down below what made you guys happy today we cannot wait to see you tomorrow for the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.